Well, hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and hope that you are too. Welcome to Mother Goose Time at Home. I'm Mary Ferris, Children's Librarian at Wood Library, and this is my friend Lambert. We're gonna do some Mother Goose rhymes and songs this morning. We'll be using a noisemaker, like a shaker egg. Anything that you have that will make noise will work. We'll do a couple of songs or rhymes using a scarf. We'll have a book, and I guarantee we're gonna have some fun. So let's get started. And this is always Lambert's favorite. This is Ba Ba Black Sheep. And you can help your little one by clapping their hands together. Lambert, I'm gonna put you up just a little higher here so they can see, or you can clap for them. All right, so. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. And what do we always do after every song or rhyme? We clap for the great job they've done. Yay! And let's do it again. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Yay! Well, let's do another one about sheep and their tails. Do you have a tail? I don't think so. Well, and we're gonna clap for this one, so I'll just clap for Lambert. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and cannot tell where to find them. But leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Yay! Okay, again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Yay! I don't think I said it at the beginning, but have your little one sitting next to you or on your lap. The closeness helps and they may even want to doop, turn around and look at you when it's just the two of you. That eye contact is really important because you can keep in touch with what they're looking at and they can keep in touch with what you're saying, right? Yes, okay. Well, I'm going to put Lambert actually off to the side a little bit because I need both of my hands and I can't hold him, but I bet your little one will sit up enough. Well, actually, let me try it. What I'm gonna do is have Lambert put up his arm and I'm going to be a little mouse. His arm is going to be a clock and we're gonna do hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one and the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, yay. And you know, we could do it with the other arm now. So put your other arm up, okay, and do it. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one and the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. Yay! Well, I'm gonna have you get out your shaker egg. And moms or dads or whoever is with your, the, your little one, get a noisemaker too. You can either help them shake it or you can each have one, which is more fun. Now these are shaker eggs that I bought. You can get them here at the library. Just stop by and tell me that you're looking for one because I have bought extras to share. Or you could take one of the plastic Easter eggs that are available, especially right now, put some rice inside them, super glue them together so that they won't come apart, and you've got a 
cigarette. Or you could use any kind of rattle that you have at home. You could use a little food container and put some rice in it or some beans or pasta, anything that makes a nice noise. And when you're shaking them, what you're doing is you're breaking words down into individual syllables so that children can hear the sound of each one. So let's try that. Got a little bit of fuzz from Lambert on me. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Easy. And do you know how we clap with a shaker egg? We go, yay! Let's do it again. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bull, and he called for his fiddlers three. Yay! Well, if you're happy and you know it, shake your egg. If you're happy and you know it, shake your egg. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake your egg. If you're happy and you know it, shake it high. Way up over your head, stretch up there. If you're happy and you know it, shake it high. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake it high. And if it's not high, then it's going to be low down by your toes in the floor. If you're happy and you know it, shake it low. If you're happy and you know it, shake it low. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake it low. If you're happy and you know it, shake it slow. If you're happy and you know it, shake it slow. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake it slow. What's the opposite of slow? Fast. If you're happy and you know it, shake it fast. If you're happy and you know it, shake it fast. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake it fast. If you're happy and you know it, shake your egg. If you're happy and you know it, shake your egg. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake your egg. Okay, you can set that aside for now. We're going to do a couple of lap ones, I think. But first, we're going to find our thumbs. Can you stick your thumbs up in the air like this? Well, Tommy thumbs up and Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees and then put them both to bed. Yay! Can you get your thumbs ready again? We'll do it one more time. Stick them right up. Tommy thumbs up. Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your knees and then put them both to bed. Yay! All right, so have your little one climb right up on your lap. Put your knees up in the air. And we're going to do Humpty Dumpty. And when Humpty Dumpty falls, you're going to lower your knee. Okay. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. 
and I think it's always sad to do this, but we're going to clap. Yay! Let's try it again. Up we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay. Well, this is always a favorite because we're going to tip way to one side and way to the other, but you're going to hold them nice and tight so that they feel very, very safe. Right there. Here we go. Baby, a go, go, hey, ya. Baby, a go, go, hey, ya. Baby, a go, go, whoa. A baby, a go, go, go. And you know what I like to do for this one? Instead of clapping their hands, I like to tap their toes. Yay! But let's do it again. Baby, a go, go, hey, ya. Baby, a go, go, hey, ya. Baby, a go, go, whoa. A baby, a go, go, go. Bouncing, all right? To market, to market, to buy a fat pig, then home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog, then home again, home again, jiggity jog. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Then home again, home again, market is done. Yay! And since that has several verses, we won't repeat it. But we're going to do another one where you're going to be riding horse. In fact, I think we've got two more horse ones. I don't know about your children, but when my son was little, he loved these bouncy ones. So that's why I always include them. So, clippity-clop, clippity-clop, here we go to the mountaintop. Clippity-clop, very fast, up the hill and over the grass. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, very slow. Time to tell that horsey, whoa, yay. Let's do it again. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Here we go to the mountaintop. Clippity-clop, very fast, up the hill and through the grass. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, very slow. Time to tell that horsey, whoa! Yay! <clears throat> and one more, and this one I'm going to turn Lambert around. Lambert, you may want to even put your hat on for this one because we're gonna be doing some jiggity jogging. All right, all right, there you go. Well, this is the way the farmer rides, and we're gonna go side to side. A jiggity jog, a jiggity jog. This is the way the lady rides, a prince, a prince, a prince, a prince. And this is the way the gentleman rides. And I always pause there and let them wait because once they know this rhyme, they know what's coming next. Uh, gallop, 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 whoa! Yay! All right, do it again. All right. Oh, he wants to look at you this time as he gallops. All right, here we go. Well, this is the way the farmer rides, a jiggity jog, a jiggity jog. This is the way the lady rides, a prince, a prince, a prince, a prince. And this is the way the gentleman rides. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. A gallop, 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 whoa! Well, I didn't, I think I 
did mention at the beginning we were going to use a scarf. If you have a scarf handy, that's great. You can use a scarf you might wear, or you could use a towel. Just something that you can cover their face with. And if they're not comfortable with it, then cover your own. So I'm going to cover Lambert. I'm going to say now, oh, where is baby? Peek-a-boo. I'm going to cover him again. Where is baby? Peek-a-boo. Cover him one more time. Where is baby? Peek-a-boo. That's how we play peek-a-boo. And as I said, you can also cover yourself. So put it right over your head. And where is mommy? <gasps> Peekaboo, or daddy, or whoever you are. Where is mommy? <gasps> Peekaboo, where is mommy? <gasps> Peekaboo, that's how we play Peekaboo. Yay! Well, let's take that scarf. And we're going to do some waving. Yes. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarf up and down. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarf left and right. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Wave your scarf fast and slow. Wave your scarf. One more. This time we're going to go over. Wave your scarf round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scarf round and round, wave your scarf. All right. Well, let's have a story. I'm just going to put my scarf away and get a book out that's called Look at You, a baby body book. This is written by Kathy Henderson with pictures by Paul Howard. And it's published by Candlewick Press and it's full of happy looking babies. Fingers and toes wiggle. Eyes, nose, and mouth giggle. Arms wave. Can you wave your arms? Legs kick. Bottoms squirm. Tummies tickle. Close on. Where's the baby gone? There he is. Close off. Where are the baby's toes? There they are. Lie and roll. Sit, wobble, rock, crawl, pull, wobble, stand, wobble, sway, wobble, bump, step, walk, toddle. What can you see? Something to eat? What can you hear? A song in the air. What can you smell? Mmm, food. How does it taste? Good, good, good. And how does it feel? Warm and squelchy, scratchy, rough, sticky, squishy. Time for a bath. Float, soap, 
splash, wash. I don't know about you, but I think that's one brave mom with three babies in the tub. <laughs> Slide, glide, cuddle, brush. Clip, sniff. Some things grow quick. Hey, ho. Others grow slow. You see, mommy's gonna have a baby. Funny thing, hair. You can brush it this way. You can brush it that way. Wash it, dry it, tie it up, and squash it flat. I feel good and bad, happy, sad, bold, shy. I don't know why. I want yours. No, it's mine. I feel lonely. I feel fine. Shoo! Wow, what a body can do. Yawn, pick, plenty of tricks. Whoops, pew! Wow, what a body can do. Sigh, fluff, snuggle down, curl up in a heap. The story's done. This body's tired, and now it's going to sleep. So that's a look at you. Well, I think we've got one more rhyme, so can you wiggle, wiggle fingers and stretch them way up to the sky? You can't even see mine, can you? Wiggle, wiggle fingers and wave them all bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining us for Mother Goose Time at Home, and we'll be back the 1st of May with another program. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.